I'm answering the question, what are some stories along the way when you clearly heard God speaking to you about your faith? The first time that I remember hearing God speak to me, I was 14 years old. I had just turned my life over to Jesus and I was reading the Bible, sitting on my couch, and I heard uh, somebody saying in my head, you don't know Jesus, you're not saved. And I started crying. My parents walked in the door and they said, of course you're saved. And, and when they said that to me, my entire body, head to toe, I just knew that what they said was truth and I knew that I was saved. And I had a really amazing encounter when I was about 18 years old and I was praying, I was in my bedroom. I'd stopped praying, I was kneeling beside my bed and I was just pondering God and thinking about heaven. And in my room, it, I just felt this power come upon me. I almost felt like it was gonna pass out and I kept opening my eyes thinking that maybe the feeling would go away because I was scared. I wasn't scared like a scary monster. I was scared because I knew that God was present with me and his power was amazing. And then slowly he ebbed away. And I didn't understand until later that the power of the Holy Spirit can come upon people. Nobody had ever told me that and I just learned that on my own. But I feel like that's what happened that, that day with me. Um, one amazing thing that happened was I was, uh, I was, it, I'm, I don't know, I was, young married, I was vacuuming upstairs in my bedroom, and I had this sensation, a, a knowing, God told me that he was going to heal my friend, Don Bryant. And Don Bryant had been in the hospital for six months. He was on his deathbed. He kept getting worse and worse. He was complete, completely comatose, and he wasn't responding to anything. So Monday morning, I called my friend and I said, I need to tell you something. And she said, I know what you're going to say. Don Bryant is going to be healed. So my best friend and I both knew that Don Bryant was going to be healed. And we ended up telling his wife. And uh, to make a very long story short, Don Bryant was healed. And it was an unbelievable miracle of God. And we found out later that someone had gone to his hospital room, laid hands on him and prayed for his healing at 3.30 in the afternoon at the same time that my friend and I heard that God would heal him, which he did. Um, another amazing moment for me was when it was 9-11, it was September. So all of that was happening on in the world. So it was very unstable. My grandmother had died. Um, I had my boss, who was like my father, uh, left the company. A couple of other things had happened. The worst thing of all in all of that, the end of that, was that my best friend uh, fell down the steps in her house, hit her head on the basement floor, and ended up getting an epidural hematoma. She was put into the hospital and was on life support, and they took her off of life support on Monday. So she went in on Friday and she came off of life support on Monday and died. So Tuesday I was driving to work and I remember in my head, I said, Lord, I cannot uh, pray. I don't know what to pray is what I said in my mind. And in that moment, I felt arms around me, hugging me. And I knew that Jesus was with me and that he would never leave me, even in the lowest and darkest times of my life. That's just the tip of the iceberg. I've had so many things happen, like many others who know Jesus, stories time and time again of Jesus with me in, in, in all parts of my life. So I am blessed.